Hi and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I have 5 cards using just one stamp set. I will be working with the new stamp sets by Tonic Studios, this is a new stamp club. It's not a subscription kit or anything like that, just on the last Friday of every month they will be releasing new designs and if you like them you can grab them. So this is part of a blog hub, you will find lots and lots of inspiration on how to use these stamp sets and these are all designed by Maria Willis. So this is the stamp for this month, perfect for any occasion, full of flower compositions and lots and lots of sentiments that you can use. If you love coloring images, you will have lots of fun with them and this is a bundle, you will actually get the matching dice at the same package. These will always come as you see them, inside that uh, little plastic pouch with the rings on the side, the tab at the top that you can easily label. I think they provide a great storage solution. They are compatible with A5 ring binders and actually these ring binders at Tonic Studios are on sale this week. So you will find all the links that you need down below in the description area. Today I will be using this bundle to create 5 cards and you will see lots and lots of ideas on how you can play with it. Now along with that stamp set they have released this one, this is another one that you can get if you like it. And it's one of those stamp sets that you can use again and again on pretty much every card that you make and send. You can use that sign and the banner to write inside your address on top of your envelopes. There are many many sayings that you can stamp at the back of your envelope or even at the back of your card. For example, handmade just for you or crafted with love. And I am going to show you some examples on how you can use phrases and combine them throughout this video. So let's put the Heartfelt Corsage stamp set into action. First of all, I'm going to stamp the big flower composition. I'm planning to use my alcohol markers to color everything, but for this stage you can use any coloring medium that you like. Just go for it and color it and have fun. I'm not going to focus on the coloring for today, but rather on how you can design different cards. So here I did use my alcohol markers to color everything and I didn't went monochromatic, I just wanted to have a very colorful vibe on this card. That's why I used many different colors on my flowers. Now I'm going to lay on top the matching die. I'm going to secure it down with some washi tape and then run it through my die cutting machine. For my background I'm going to use this specialty paper. This is embossed by Tonic Studios and it's called English Lace. It's one of my favorites from their collection and I'm just going to cut it out to be slightly less than four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm going to stick that on top of my card base by using uh, my Nouveau Deluxe glue at the back and um, I absolutely love how you get something interesting at the background. It does add lots of uh, texture but at the same time it's very subtle so it's not going to steal the thunder of my focal point. You can get a similar look by using any embossing folder on a piece of white cardstock. I popped my die cut on top by using foam squares at the back for some dimension and now I am preparing this black cardstock with some anti-static powder and I'm going to stamp the sentiment on top that says sending hugs, it's from the same stamp set. I'm going to apply white embossing powder. I am using my heat gun to melt the embossing powder and then I'm just going to cut it out in a thin strip of paper. I am combining here foam square as well as Nouveau Deluxe glue, just to make sure that this is nice and leveled as I place it on top of my die cut. And I'm going to call this card done. All I need to do is to add some finishing touches. For that I'm grabbing my Nouveau Drops and I'm going to add some dots here and there at the center of the flowers. And this is actually Dream Drops and the color is Cloud9. This is probably my most used Nouveau Drops bottle that I've ever had in my stash. I find that it matches pretty much any project and it gives a lovely shine. Now I grabbed the envelope stamp set and I'm going to show you how I like to use that. So I grabbed one of the se sentiments that says Handmade just for you and I'm going to stamp that at the back of my card. You can also write your name there if you want. And I think that this is a lovely finishing touch, it makes it look even more professional. There are many other things that you can stamp there. And here I grabbed my white envelope and I'm going to show you a really fun thing that you can do. I'm going to grab that little snail that says snail mail and I'm going to stamp that with black ink at the back of my envelope. So this is a really fun finishing touch and I think it's going to bring 
a smile on the recipient. Of course, you can color it in if you like or stamp it with colored ink. Here are some close-up photos on the first card for today. And as I always say, a flower composition is perfect for any occasion, so just change up the sentiment and you are ready to go. For my next design, I'm going to do some white embossing instead of coloring. So I am using my anti-static powder tool on my blue cardstock there, and I'm going to stamp the little uh, frame with the flowers all around. And I like to use my stamping platform for that since I cannot really tell if I stamped this nicely and I also like to do it a couple of times just to be on the safe side. I'm applying on top fine white embossing powder that is going to pick up all those lovely details on the flowers. And then I'm going to use my heat gun to melt the powder. In the matching die set there is a little rectangle frame that fits right inside this design. I'm going to align it nicely, secure it down with my washi tape and run it through my die cutting machine. This way I am creating a little window and I'm going for a shaker cut. Now since this panel looks quite flat I'm going to do some inking on the outside. For that I'm using an ink that is slightly darker than the colored cardstock. By inking up the edges and making them darker, it's going to look as if the center of the card is glowing. And now it's time to create my shaker element. At the back of this panel I'm using some double-sided tape all around that window. You can use your glue if you like. And the truth is that although I love so much making shaker cards, I haven't done one for months, so I was super happy to create one again. And I absolutely love shaker cards, I think that they give a fun element to the recipient, so you don't really need to make it super complicated. That is why I'm going for a very simple design for this one, however you do get the shaker element that makes it really special. So I'm sticking that piece of acetate at the back and you can see the lovely window at the front. And now I'm going to use my foam tape all around that window. For my sentiment I decided to go with thank you. I'm going to white emboss it on a very pale blue cardstock and this is going to go behind the window. So I'm stamping that with uh, embossing ink. I'm going to apply white embossing powder, heat set it. And to help it stand out even more I'm going to lightly ink it up with the same ink color as the edges. And now I'm ready to add the little shaker elements for my card. I am peeling off the backing of my double-sided tape. I'm using a few scoops of the Diamond Pure Sheen sequence. I just love how sparkly they are. And uh, I am going to make room so that I can see where the sentiment is. And this way I will be able to align it at the center of my window. Sorry for the head there, but I just had to take a look from the top. And my card is ready, I'm just going to add some finishing touches. Since I had the Cloud9 Nouveau Drops, I'm going to add some drops here and there on an otherwise very simple looking card. However, you do end up having that shaker element. I think it looks really stunning, very elegant. And as I'm adding the dots, notice that I follow the design. So from one corner to the other. And here are some close-up photos on the second card for today. Now for the next card I'm going to use the exact same stamp but in a completely different way. So this time I did stamp that. I colored it with my alcohol markers. And I'm aligning the matching die so that I can run it through my die cutting machine. Now, for the background, I decided to go with this stamp that I had in my stash forever. This is just a stamp with lots and lots of dots. Just like I did with the previous card, I slightly inked up only the edges and I'm going to stick on top my die cut. I have foam scores at the back, so I get some dimension. I have my white pre-folded card ready to go and I'm going to use my Nouveau Deluxe glue to stick this panel there. I like to use my white glue instead of uh, double-sided tape for that uh, stage just because I can easily slide it into position before it completely dries and grabs on the paper. Now again this is a flower card so it would be perfect for any occasion so just stamp whatever sentiment you like. I went with a combination of uh, sentiments from the envelope stamp set. 
And then for the back of the card, just to add something fun, I am going to stamp Craft It With Love and I'm going to combine it with one more sentiment that says you can never throw it away. I also stamped a little heart and you can see that in the photos. And again on this card, just like the first one, think of all the color combinations and the different coloring mediums that you can use to create a completely different look. For the next card, I'm going to show you another design without having to color anything. So again, I picked one of the images from the same stamp set. I'm going to stamp that with uh, embossing ink and then apply silver embossing powder. I'm going for a simple looking and elegant card that will work as a masculine card as well. There is a matching die for this design as well, so I'm going to cut it out and I will pop it later on on my card. Here I have a strip of matte silver cardstock that I have already embossed just to say. Now for the background of my card and just to add something interesting, I'm going to use this lovely pattern paper, again another embossed specialty paper by Tonic Studios. And I have a white cardstock as my base. Now this is slightly smaller than the standard card. I'm going to stick this at the bottom and I did cut it on an angle just for some uh, interest and then a different look. I'm going to stick on top my silver strip with the sentiment embossed on top of it. And I like the just to say as a sentiment in the front because then I can use this card for pretty much any occasion since I can stamp the actual happy birthday or happy anniversary on the inside of the card along with my handwritten message. Now with the back of my focal point I'm going to use some foam squares, pop it on top and this matches beautifully with a silver line. It's really hard to catch all that shine on camera but trust me it's there and it's looking really elegant. I used a black navy card base and I finished it off with a touch of silver with a gem at the center of the flower. And let's move on to the last card for today. Here I'm working on watercolor paper and I did impose the big flower composition that I used for the first card. Now I'm going to combine some different colors of Distress Oxide ink, going for an ombre look here. So I'm starting with uh, yellow, I'm going to move on to orange and then red. This is a great technique, the sky is the limit when it comes to color combinations. You can create the same design again and again with completely different colors. And although you cannot see where that design is, uh, just because the ink stays on top of it, once you are happy with the blending, then pick up a clean towel. I am using a paper towel here and just wipe it off for the big reveal. And with uh, gorgeous backgrounds like this one, all you have to do is to add a sentiment and pretty much any sentiment will work with this card. So all I need to do is to add this panel on top of a pre-folded card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I have a lovely white border all around. As a sentiment, I decided to go with this hello die. This comes from uh, this set by Tonic Studios and I like that it cuts out both the speech bubble as well as the word hello. And I'm going to combine it with a uh, sweet friend that I have uh, white embossed on black cardstock. When I am creating such backgrounds with ink blending, I always like to stick a die cut on top. Any die cut that you have on your stash would work perfectly, but you can just stamp a sentiment as well. If you want, you can embellish this card even more by adding some uh, nouveau drops here and there, just for uh, some added sparkle. And here are all the five cards that I made for today using stamps from the Heartfelt Corsage stamp set as my focal point. You will find links to everything I use down below the description area. Join the blog hop since there is a big giveaway as well as tons of inspiration on how you can use this stamp set. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired and I hope that you will all have a relaxing and creative weekend.